Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the joiner method um, of uh, creating this image in Photoshop. Um, here's some examples. You can use a single image and just move it around. You could use um, a single image like that. I've had students take the same image and put one in color, one in black and white, and try to you know change it up like that. Um, this is a single image as well. This is a multiple image, so you can see the different perspectives. Um, also, you could change the exposure or texture in Lightroom in your Lightroom album before you export them. So maybe one might have a lighter tone, then the other might be brighter. So those are ways that you can uh, manipulate your images before you use them. So once you get your images that you want to use, we're gonna go into Photoshop and we're gonna create new. I'm gonna use a portrait um, eight by 10, and you wanna make sure that you're using pixels, and you're gonna use a transparent background and push create. Make sure it's pixels. If it's inches, it's gonna crash your iPad. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and import the images that you want. Oops, I'm gonna put in some pictures of my son. Um, you can make this smaller so you can fill the screen if you'd like, or you can crop it later um, also. So, some of them you may want to change the size, and once we get them imported, you can do that later on. So you don't have to try to like do that all right now. Okay, so once I have the pictures, I'm gonna change the opacity, and that setting is right here. Um, and that way I can kind of start seeing the placement. So I might want to put this image over here and then the one of him in the middle, I might want to move up a little bit so his hand isn't in the way. Okay, so I moved this photo up to the top. So I'm gonna make that one opaque, as I mean transparent as well and move this one down here. So we have like the different versions and I might even I might make it smaller and that was the transform setting which is right here to change that and then this one's to move it so that's to change the settings the size and that's to move them around so once I get that the way I like it then I'm going to pull um the clarity back up um, I'm going to leave this photo I'll show it to you I'm going to leave this one in the background so it's kind of like a base photo, but eventually you probably won't use any of these. These are just gonna be the starting point, okay? Um, okay, first of all, I'm going to take that blue outline and it's, it's highlighting this image. You're gonna go to the triangle and you're gonna hit it twice and you want it to highlight marquee rectangle. And then you're gonna start out first by creating a square of the area you want to copy. Hit the three dots, hit copy selection, and hit paste. What happens is it makes it a new layer. If I hit this little triangle, I can move it around and see it. Now you may wanna move it and shift it off a little bit so you can kind of tell the difference. Um, and so I'm gonna go back to that original photo, hit the triangle again, marquee rectangle, and maybe add a different part of that photo. Copy selection, paste. Hit the triangle and then you can move it around. You can see that there. Um, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna go back to the original photo. I'm gonna do one kind of above his elbow. So you can see how it's kind of time consuming, but it, it will end up looking really good at the end. Copy selection, paste. You kind of get into a rhythm after a while. Um, also, if I want that one to be in the front, I might take this one and move it up. Um, so it, you can move them around so you can play around with how it looks. I'm gonna hide this photo that was my base photo. So now it's not there. I'm gonna go into this next one. So I may want to highlight that part with his hand. Copy selection, paste and then I'm gonna move it around. Go back to that original photo that you started with. Make sure the blue highlight's on that. Copy selection, 
paste, grab that little triangle, and shift that around. Go back to the photo that you had originally. All right, now I'm gonna hide this one. So now you can kind of see how it's starting to build layers. Um, if this one is the one you wanna move, you need to kind of go back into your layers and find it. And maybe you wanna shift all those down. Um, so that you can see it better. I don't necessarily wanna see. Okay. So after a while, you know, you may want to change the lighting. Maybe some of them are black and white. You can just keep building layers. I could keep cutting this one out and maybe not even have them as the original photos. Um, and you can also think about where they are. So like you may want to move this one up and um, change how they're um, layering on top of each other and stuff like that. So be, you know, take the time to really experiment and play around with some different images. Oh, in order to export your image, you're gonna hit this little rectangle at the top and you want to do a, uh, you can do a quick export. It'll go into your camera roll if you save the image. Um, I usually don't do the other version because it seems to like, it doesn't go automatically to Google Drive. Um, so I find it easier just to put it 